Okay, so we're at the drilling machine. I'm going to use the center drill. The uh, actual pilot diameter of the drill is the finished size of the hole that we're looking for. And it's probably just long enough to break through, hopefully, but we'll see. So we need to raise the table a bit. So we need to get the centre drill lined up with the centre of the cylinder. Obviously this can move around in any direction at the moment. And it doesn't have to be perfectly accurate. It just needs to be close for this particular job. So I'm just going to use a ruler and bring it down on there. And that gives an indication whether the centre drill is on the centre. So if we move the work until this ruler is pretty much level. Which I reckon is about there. That should be pretty close to the centre. So I'll clamp this side. So this is now fixed. So now we need to get the centre drill in the right position for the first hole near the end, which is three millimetres in. And then we need to be able to successfully move it along three millimetre pitch, or four millimetre pitch. So the way I do this is I use a parallel, and I made this little uh, piece of material with a slot in, which is square to the side. So the parallel sits in and slides up and down. Okay, so it makes it kind of an adjustable square, almost. And I have an Allen key, which I use to just tighten it in position. Okay, so this is a handy little tool for working on a drilling machine. So, this side has been, this side of the indexer has been machined square to the front face. I place this parallel against the side of the indexer and I can clamp it in position. Okay, so now we mustn't move this at all, this is fixed and then this can go on here and slide along there. And if I release the uh, indexer, you can see also the indexer can now move relative to this um, parallel. So it will remain wherever we put the drill along the length of the cylinder, it will remain on centre. So the first thing do we need to find the end. Okay, so I'm going to use a 6mm broken end mill. Okay, so I couldn't find my broken end mill, so I'll just use a good one. So the shank's six millimeters diameter, so I just push the index along until it touches. Okay, so the center of the machine spindle is now three millimeters from the edge of the, uh, the workpiece, and the first hole has to be three millimeters in. So we now need to move the index of six millimeters to get the right, correct hole position. So this is where my little gadget comes in handy. So I just um, put a six millimeter drill shank in there, push the block up against it, tighten with an Allen key. Okay. Now remove the, the drill. So we've got a gap of six millimeters. Unclamp the indexer. Sorry, it's already unclamped. Move it forward. Hold on. Take up the uh, hand mill. Move it forward. Okay. Clamp it down on the other side. So we should now be in the right position.
put in the centre drill. That's the Allen key going for a button. Okay, I found another Allen key. Keep it somewhere safe this time. Okay, so we're ready to go. So it's just broken through there, which is ideal. So I'll set the stop. Okay. So now I've got to do a ring at 20 degree intervals. Okay, it's looking good. So now we need to move it uh, four millimeters because it's a drill at a four millimeter pitch. <coughs> so we're slacking it off. So I've got a four millimeter diameter end mill. I'll put in there, bring that up, tighten it. Okay, release the indexer, bring the end mill out. So you've got to be careful here, you don't move the parallel or anything, so you just got to be gentle. Make sure there's no swarf in there. Clamp the indexer down again. So we're ready for the next line. So here we go. So we need to move it another four millimeters. Okay. <coughs> Almost keep your sleeves pulled up when you're on a machine like this. Because if it gets a hold of your sleeve, you'll be into the machine, no problem.
Okay, it's looking good. It's locking off again. Gently put it back up against the stops. Pump it. That's it. All right. Well, we're halfway. Okay, well, the lathe, the inside of this is a bit of a mess, so I'm just going to clean it up with a file. A half round file. Okay, we can finish that off with some memory. Okay, I'm just going to emery the inside a bit. But when you're doing small diameters like this, small bows like this, never be tempted to put your finger in. This is too small for my finger anyway, but that's one sure way to lose a finger. Good. Okay, we'll part it off. Just over 30 millimeters. That's good. Thank you.